Today we're going to be installing a hydro chip tuner in my 2000 73 power stroke. Over here we have a list of tunes that they sent over. Nice little sticker. We have the selector switch, the chip itself, and some other things in the bottom of the box. The first step in this project is you're going to want to disconnect both of your batteries so there's no power going to the truck. Next, you want to take out the 10 millimeter bolt on the back of the computer. As you can see, it is that one right there. Um, I can get better look on here. That bolt right there. Once you have that 10 millimeter out the back of the firewall, you're gonna wanna come inside your truck. Pop open this panel right here, just get you some more room. You really don't need it all the way. It definitely helps, especially if you need a flashlight or something to see what you're doing. Go ahead and get that out of the way. You're gonna come in here and these two little eight millimeters, you gotta take those out and then unplug your PCM and it should come right out. Once you take out both of them bolts, you're gonna pull your PCM. Oh, I'm knock my phone down. Pull it out and then pull. It's a little difficult to get it pulled out. You definitely need two hands. It's more about getting it lined up. You kind of have to pull it out and then pull it out. Um, when you take it out, just remember this X goes towards your fender. So when you go to put it back in, you know which way you're going. Now you're gonna wanna pull your plastic cover off. Set that aside. You will need to put that back on. You're gonna wanna clean everything off out of the way and you're gonna take out all six of these little screws. Once you get your six bolts out, go ahead and take the top cover off. This is what you see. This is where we're going to be cleaning. But you want to get both sides. So if you see these little gaps right here, sometimes help. You get a little tiny screwdriver in there. And you can take the bottom one off. So now we can clean the underside. You're going to want to clean these terminals next. So take the corner of your wooden brush. And go in between each one of these terminals until you get all this shiny silicone off of them. Hit them a little bit with the brush. And it should be nice and silver like this. And just buff them up a little bit with your scotch Brite pad. And you should be able to hear that um, the silver terminals are still sticking up. And the rest of the silicone's down. So you should have a good connection. Now we have to flip it over and do the other side. This is the side I did already. As you can see the difference from this side to this side. This one of them rows in between them are nice and black. You can kind of see the shine from the silicone on them. This side, everything is a lot more dull. You got the metal sticking out. So to do the front of this, you want to put your back down so you don't lay the computer on the ground. You're going to have to sneak your brush in through this little gap and get all that silicone off of there. So once you have your terminals clean, you want to grab your USB cable right here. Get this all opened up. You're going to put that on your chip just in case in the future you want to change your tunes. Or anything like that. Get rid of some, add some. So you're going to take this little end right here. And you're going to find your hydro chip. You're going to want to plug it in to this little gold port up here in the corner. So once you get your ports cleaned, you want to grab your hydro chip. You're going to want to grab this USB cable they send you and plug the little end into this yellow uh, plug right there. Take one of those zip ties they provide. String it through this little hole. And then zip tie this wire up here to make sure that it doesn't come back out.
Make sure you cut that off before you put it in the PCM. Next, you're going to grab your ribbon cable that they send. Find the side that has holes in it. And you're going to find this little ledge up here. It clips in going down if you're holding it upright. Coming back towards you. Make sure that's nice and snug in there. Make sure it's not going to pop out. And the string just laying down like that. Next, you're going to take your chip. Oh, wait. You might have to take your ribbon cable off, your, your chip, a tuner chip, to slide it into your PCM. But then you're going to plug the bottom of it into your PCM like that. Should be a pretty snug fit. You're going to set this back down. Have your wire run across it. Now you're going to grab your ribbon cable. Coming back facing you like this. You're going to feed it through the hole. Up and over your chip to where it comes into the connection. Plug it in nice and snug. Make sure you don't unplug your chip while you're doing that. Then just run your wires out. Now that you get your chip installed, make sure it's pushed in there for the last time. We're going to put some tape on it after you bolt this up. So place your lid on there. Make sure your two halves are lined up. It should only be really one way this goes together. Grab your six bolts and we'll bolt it up. All right, so really important step here is once you have your chip installed and all your bolts snug down, you can see your chip hangs out, obviously. And it's not the tightest, but it's not loose, so it will work. But you want to take a piece of duct tape, go right in between your two wires here. This will ensure that your chip won't come loose when you're hitting them big Michigan potholes and anything crazy like that. So once you have all your duct tape on and all your wires hanging out and everything is ready to go, you want to take your plastic cover, make sure that ground clip's in there. As you can see, the hydro chip sticks out of your PCM a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I marked out in a red marker. That's all I had, a little area. I'm going to take my little air saws out here and just trim that out and then it should be good to go. Now that you have it reinstalled, just these one, two little bolts, the ones you took back out. Remember the X on the PCM goes towards your fender and this little circle goes towards your driver seat. See this little brass clip in there? Make sure that ground's in there. Then just push your wires through and come back up front. To that 10 millimeter bolt you took out earlier and make sure that your wires are all clipped together and then just tighten down that bolt and you're good to go so i have my ribbon cable here i ran it up through the dash and i have it poking out unclip the dash a little bit i'm gonna put my little reader right here it's my tune selector and then we'll fire it up and see if everything works right i decided to put this tune selector here on the left hand side so when you're sitting up in here you can still see what tune you're in reach over easily and see what what you're doing uh, i see a lot of guys kind of tuck it down over here or they kind of put it over there out of the way but i think right here is a good location for it it's nice you gotta double check your tent on the firewall double check both your screws holding the pcm in then reconnect your battery and we'll go from there now that i got both batteries hooked back up everything's installed we're gonna hop inside and we're gonna flip the key but not start the truck yet. We're gonna see, here, get your keys here. If the glow plug light turns on, which as you can see right here, wait to start. The hydro chip has power. That's a good sign. I'm gonna cycle it one more time just to make sure. Wait to start. Got hydro chip power. Normal lights, go for first start. As you can see, we're on the stock tune right now, zero, zero. Everything is running smooth. All the gauges are fine, nothing's freaking out. ABS lights on, but it normally is. And we'll get some jogging clips here maybe, so I'm going through some different tunes. So right now we have it on number 14, the 120 horsepower racing tune, as you can see. A uh, quick note, when you first fire your truck up, it will be in zero-zero mode, which is below factory stock. 
if you have the truck running and you try to tune up to factory stock or any other one it will shut the truck off don't be scared just turn the truck off flip it back on to auxiliary power do not start the truck yet tune up to one of these then start the truck and you'll be okay so let's go see what this 120 horse can do quick ride down to Dollar General to see how the chip works we got it on the 80 horse daily drive right now and uh, so far so good see some improvements in the shifting um, a lot more responsive pedal things like that um, overall I think it's a great product a little hard to put in by yourself but if you have some hope it ain't that bad um, yeah definitely would recommend for your truck